Hello, and welcome to the 2020 Gaithersburg Book Festival online workshop on creating your own superhero comic. Brought to you by St. Martin's School. So to, what we're going to be talking about today is tips and tricks and techniques to help you to create your own comic book. Everybody has ideas for superheroes or fantasies that they've come up with in their own mind. How do you go about the business of writing it? Um, my name is Sherry Antonetti and um, I'm a writer and a teacher and a mother. Um, and so I'm going to be walking you through this. Um, and the drawings of the comics were done by my daughter, Regina Antonetti. So let's get to it. Purpose of plotting the plot. Why do we have to know what we're doing before we go? Because if you don't, you can't get there. You'll wander around, things will happen, but there won't be a real point to the whole experience. And that's what we really want to have whenever we're telling a story. So, you want to create a superhero comic. Fantastic. Maybe you have an idea. Maybe you have a story. Maybe you have no idea of the story. But what you do know is you have to get started. How? Well, we created a 20 question checklist. Don't faint. But if you answer them as fast as you can, you'll find you have know a lot about your character before you start. And if you know your character, it's a lot easier to write what will happen. So here are the first 10 of those 20 questions. Like, what is your character? Is it a boy, a girl, a dog, some alien? What's the character's name? Do they have a super identity, a secret identity, an alter ego? Do they have a superpower? Because not all superheroes are, have superpowers, you know. And what do they do when they're not superheroing? Do they have a costume? What does it look like? That can be a whole lot of energy right there. Where do they go to change? That's a good question. How do they get their powers? Who knows about their powers and why? And what else does your superhero character like to do? These are simple run -dots. The more you know your character, the easier it is to write a story with the character. And it may seem like we're not getting anywhere, but think of it as that if you, when you make a recipe, you list all the ingredients first and you get all the ingredients ready before you start cooking. Same is true in writing or drawing a comic. 20 questions to ask your superhero continue. Does your superhero want to be a superhero? Do they view it as a curse or a gift? Could be both. What's your character's favorite food? It's a lot of fun to have your characters do things that everybody does. And you might pick that they like things that you like and hate things that you hate. And that's fine too. What is your character's creation or origin story? You can do this if you want. It's an easy way to start a story. You don't have to. You can just start with them having the power and go. Mm -hmm. Do they have a catchphrase or a favorite move? Maybe you write the story of the origin of their catchphrase or their favorite move. And that's, that, that's another way to go with this. Do you have a sidekick or a partner or a best friend? And do they have a power? A lot of good stories come from relationship. So having other people around is important. Where does the character live? And you can put them anywhere. This, you are the world builder. You are the person who invented the universe that this character is going to live in, which is why I have this backdrop. Where does your story begin? May I recommend always that it starts on a day like any other day. The best way to do superheroes is to treat it as being part of life. So what would a superhero eat for breakfast? Um, would the superhero has to catch the bus? Would the superhero need to go to work? Um, answer a call, do chores. These are things that make for fun writing and fun drawing. What is the goal of the hero in this story? Every story has a reason why a character wants to do something. You need to know why your superhero wants to be a superhero or wants to do what they want to do. And how does your character save the day? Know the ending and you can get there. That's one of the biggest tricks of writing any story. You can change the ending, but it helps to know where you want to go when you're in the process of trying to get there. So, as you just looked from that list, 
powers are just one of the many decisions you have to make when you're creating a superhero or any character. But this whole lecture was supposed to be about plot. Well, let me tell you what plot is. Plot is what happens to a character. Story is what happens when the character reacts to what's happening. So I'm gonna illustrate the process with this, this, this guy here. His name is Blue Jay. Um, if you, and I did this by answering the, the 20 questions. Um, so if you know who your superhero is, you know how they handle stress and the type of ordinary problems that they might have. Um, I advise you to use humor, mistakes, and hope. It makes for a fun story and a funny story. So here is our fourth grader. His name is Jay. And he was wearing a blue jacket, although I didn't do color. Um, and so he decided that since his power is that he can fly, that his superhero name is Blue Jay. Simple enough. Okay. So I'm going to enlarge this a little bit. Uh, excuse me for a second. So we're going to start with Jay. This is Jay. He looks pretty normal, right? He just happens to have his powers. We don't know how or why or when. And so the first thing, it turns out he can fly. That's the second panel here. And he says, ha, I can fly now. I'll get home first. Liam kind of talks him back down. Really, if you fly too fast, you'll need goggles and get wind burn. And if you fly too slow, I will beat you home. And if you fly too high, you might get lost. If you fly too low, I won't even be flying. This is Liam, Jay's best friend. He is kind of a realist, so he's taking this fairly well. No, I'll be able to fly. Super amazing. Oh, ah, swallow the bug. Told you. On second thought, I think I'll welcome with you. A wise choice. You know, I thought about creating a panel with these two friends walking in the rain and Liam proposing ideas of how Jake got his power, like, you know, bitten by a radioactive bird. No. Are your parents radioactive birds? No. Are they genetic scientists with merged you with a bird? No. Are you a mutant? No. Did you get a ring from an alien? You know, I just have him just constantly coming up with all the different origin stories that every other superhero's ever had. And just having him say, no, 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 no. Just for fun. But, you know, the bottom line is I don't know what the actual straight reason is that Jay has this power, so I couldn't answer that. And that's okay. You don't have to know everything. Sometimes too much detail gets boring. So, if you, but if you look at these panels, mm -hmm. you can see that I'm giving a lot of information about Jay. Um, just, just, just because you're going through and you're learning about Jay's power, you're learning about Jay's friend, you're getting an idea of how old he is, um, and but you get it through their interaction, and that's where most of the story happens. So if you know who your characters are, it's a lot easier to keep going. Okay, second page of the story. Unlike the first page, I tried to anchor the starting point always with the ordinary. So we have a picture of the television giving the news and we decided, because it was raining on the day when we drew this, that we named our town Rainville. Um, so anything at all can be a source of inspiration. So, and she's like, it's sunny, I can't believe it. Um, and so, you know, they start their walk and he's thinking about flying, but Liam points out that he has done some research for him that might help him with his um, flying techniques. Um, and we decided just to go straight to the rest of the plot, but um, that could be a whole nother story in there of him learning the research uh, of, of, of them basically working together. Um, to perfect his power and design his ability to be a hero. Um, going back to the main point, the extraordinary works best when the rest of the universe makes sense as is. You have to have something to anchor it so it becomes familiar. And um, sorry, I have children who are trying to get ice cream. Um, this is true if your whole universe is, is fantastic or if it's ordinary. If everyone flies, then flying in that world is not gonna be seen as anything exceptional. It'll be like everybody can walk, you know, or drive, or, you know, everybody eats. Um, so you need to know whether or not the gift that you're talking about is because they're different from everyone else, or if they're just learning how to use it better than everyone else. Now, in telling a story, you can have a narrator telling the whole story where it's like an omnipotent, 
like I'm reading the story to you and um, so I'm telling you what happens in here. They're going for a walk and talking about the research and then they go to math class. And when they go to math class, um, Jay is bored and he looks out the window and he looks out the window and he sees a cat stuck in a tree. So he raises his hand and asks if he can go to the bathroom. That's how he's gonna get out to rescue the cat. And we finally get to the hero stuff on panel th on page three. It is I, Blue Jay. It is fine, small kitten. Why? Because I am a scratch. Ah, my jacket. Ah, you're super mean. This was my favorite. And then he has to make a hero's decision. Even though I'm annoyed at you, cat, I can't just leave it here. I'll take you to the bathroom for now. Returning to class, the teacher looks a little upset. Jay, you were gone for half an hour. Class ended. Where were you? Oops. Uh, Miss Thompson, Liam found a cat in the boys' bathroom. What? Jay, we'll talk later. Show me the way, class. Claire. So we got to the hero stop. Jay's seen the cat. He's made a discreet exit, plans to rescue it, and it doesn't go as planned. So, so you know, that was the plot. The plot, kid is a superhero tries to do the heroic thing. It doesn't go as planned. That's the whole plot. There are all different ways I could have written this story, um, but that is a plot. Um, if I wanted to continue the adventures of Blue Jay, some of the problems that Liam suggested on the first page might be addressed. He might come around with a sturdier costume, so it'd be like cat scratch free. Um, he might have to explain to his mom or dad or a teacher, and he'd still be limited by the fact that he is a kid. Now, how do we make sure that if I fly, I don't get lost? How do I make sure that I can get home you know, before mom gets mad and says, where were you for dinner? How do I make sure I get my homework done if I have to do superheroing things? There's all that time management stuff. So, now, I will tell you that um, in, in writing, in the writing world, there are lots of arguments about, about um, how many plots there are, you know, some say there are eight plots, some say there are 50 plots. To me, that number is silly because plots, simply what happens. What makes a story rich and different and unique and yours is the character that you create that endures because it, 10 different people go into the same restaurant. They, don't even, they can even order the same food. They will react to it 10 different ways. So knowing who your character is will allow you to have any number of circumstances and have a lot of fun writing them. So, and to, to illustrate the point finally, plot is always simply what happens. What makes a plot important is without plot, your character has nothing to do. Once upon a time, a kid got powers. He lived happily ever after the end. No plot. Mm -hmm. Plot is the means by which to reveal why it is important that the hero got powers, why they are a hero, and the lessons they learn from trying to be one. The bottom line is a good story is always more than just what happened. But a good story can't happen without something happening. So the read the final panels. Liam's found the cat. The whole class thinks he's a hero and he's so cool. And the teacher is very proud of him. And one of um, Liam and Jay's friends said, you should be more like Liam. And Jay's kind of like, what? So will Jay ever get the appreciation he deserves? Find out next time in The Adventures of Blue Jay, um, the end. And um, thank you for being with me. And I look forward to reading a whole huge bumper crop of fantastic stories from all of you. Um, so get some paper out, answer your 20 questions, and then start writing. Thank you.